Welcome back. This is Kirsten with JK Fiber Arts TDF Day 2. I wanted to uh, add something. I have this other noob. I have a lot of uh, this noob roving. I went through a phase, so I have a bunch of it. Um, but uh, I wanted to do a low twist fold single to compare so you can see the difference because the one i showed you yesterday was the high energy so i'm going to slide in this low energy uh, uh fold single and i'm gonna fold a little less uh, and i'll uh, tell you why uh when we uh, get to it we are going to do the low energy fold single you saw the high energy one yesterday and what I'm going to do is uh, same thing. This is just the, uh, the Z it's called Zazamora is the colorway. It's a different colorway, but it's very pretty. I think I have three of these. So we're gonna show the difference between the um, low energy and the high energy uh, spin here. Let's make sure my draw is good. So for the low energy, you're supposed to have one twist per inch. So that is very low energy. And you can see here, one twist per inch, I'm just letting it roll on. This is gonna be super fluffy. Um, I did all of my pre-drafting just like you uh, saw me do yesterday. Um, I tried to be as specifically I try to get them is the same thickness as I possibly could now I did not weigh anything out or anything like that so there's probably going to be some that are going to be a little thicker than others or one that's going to be a little thinner than others but for the most part I did all of this pre-drafting so that we just have to oh, there's a big chunk of felt there what they're famous for but it's worth it for their amazing colors There's just a big clump of felt here. I can feel it. <laughs> it's not drafting at all. Urgh, look at that. That's just a clump. We're gonna get rid of that. That's no bueno. All right. All right, we are back in business here. And again, I have to be careful that I'm not, um, that I'm at least getting this thick enough, uh, I mean, enough twist in it that it's not just gonna disintegrate when I go to uh, put it on my nitty naughty. <laughs> so we're going for that one twist per inch. And a twist per inch, whoop, or TPI. Not to be confused with the TPI we talk about when we're talking about drum quarters, which is tines per inch. I'll show you here when we get a better spot there. So the twists that you have here are, let's see, this is a two inch uh, measuring device here. So I have, through this two inches, I have two, Actually, right here is two inches. I have two twists. So if you look at this, I don't know if it helps with the white background here. So this dark purple on top is one twist, and this dark purple right here is the second twist. So I have two per two inches. So that's one per inch. And that's what you're counting. You're counting the twists, the little, the little bumps, you know, the twists of the yarn. And uh, that's also called spinning with crimp. If you've ever... Uh, counted the uh, crimp in something. Uh, so if you have some uh, locks or l raw fleece and you, you look at it and you have the, the little um, crimp and you can measure how much, uh, how many crimps there are per inch, when you spin, you're gonna spin that many twists per inch and that's just the best that that um, fiber will uh, spin. It'll spin the best at that. Uh, I always call that uh, what it wants it to be because after you do it for a while, you kind of have this understanding of, you know, oh, if it has fine crimp, it needs a little more twist. Uh, it does better to th 
if you spin it thin, as opposed to something that has, you know, big chunky cr uh, crimp. And that um, would definitely prefer to be spun thick and with less twist. So that is what we're talking about here. So I am trying to keep this at one twist per inch ish for this and then we're not going to fold this like crazy you'll see the difference <laughs> that's right i didn't put that up yet uh you're gonna see it here it is there's going to be a crazy difference uh between this one and the one that i spun yesterday that had the high energy single and i'll be sure to let you see this when it comes off the uh, nitty naughty but you see how much softer this is the um the angle of ply is a lot lower the angle apply? Yes. Actually, that one might be a little too much there. Let's undo a touch. I'm just gonna increase my draw a bit. So it pulls that in quicker so I get less twist. And this you can see is gonna go very quickly. Already this is a little bit thinner than the last one, but it's close enough that we'll be able to tell. It won't look too bad. I was trying to figure out what that noise was before. It's actually my drive band is hitting the flyer, which is weird. I feel like my wheel should be out then. Out that way more. There we go. Let's see if that fixes it. A little bit. So I'm going to just finish putting this on here. Oh, this is so pretty too. I'm just gonna finish putting this on to my bobbin. Uh, this definitely has the, the one inch. Let's check again here. The, what they call the TPI. Let's see if we can find a spot on here where you can see the, the color change. Hmm, it's not really a good color change part. It kind of looks the same. I don't know if you'll be able to appreciate it. But it's basically this green one right here. If you can see that green. So if I go an inch, there's only one twist in that inch. May almost, here's, an, here's the, another twist right here at this pink. So that one has almost two twists per, per inch. But this is kind of right on it there. So I like that, I'm, I'm okay with that. And if we pull this one out and do the, the, turn, the apply back, see how much looser it is? So that's what we're looking for, that very loose, loose, loose one. So I'm just gonna continue with this. And I'm gonna try to remember to take a picture of it this time. I did not take any photos the other day and I was hurting for pictures. So <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of this and then um, we'll be uh, ready. I'll show you first the high energized and then we'll do this one. We are ready uh, to um, full our single. Here is the yarn and I, I want you to see this because I don't want you to freak out if you do this at home. Uh, <laughs> this is what it looked like off the Nitty Naughty and typically you would look at this and say, oh my lord, something has gone completely off the rails here. If this was a two ply, you would be like, uh, no. Um, but that's okay, this is called an energized single and what we're gonna do with this is we are going to full it and the way you full it is basically you're felting it. Uh, so I have here two uh, plastic, uh, Containers. Uh, this is actually cat trays. Um, it came as a whole set and uh, it's awesome for fiber stuff. Uh, I highly recommend it. So I have one that's very hot tap water. I just have a little pump out of my uh, Dawn sink pumper thing. This is just Dawn blue dishwashing liquid. Uh, this one, I got some ice just adding to make it extra super cold. And uh, pro tip is that uh, going from cold to hot does not felt something but going from hot to cold does of course you add soap and friction and there you go so what we're going to do is we are going to fold this so here it is in all of its uh twisty curly splendor here <laughs> 
I just love looking at it because normally that would give me all kinds of anxiety. <laughs> but not right now. I'm actually super fun and happy. All right, so let's throw this in. Hot water. Boom. And oh, uh, gloves. I'm wearing uh, kitchen gloves because this is hot water. It, it's tap water, but it's still really hot. Uh, and the little uh, um, bumpies on here, good for felting. And so you're just going to get in here and we're going to mix it up. You know, it's going to squish it all around, rub it between your fingers. I know everything that we tell you to never do with yarn. <laughs> so fun. So um, with these, you don't have to fold the singles. If, like, so that single that I just showed you, that's a high energy single. You can knit with that. You can weave with those. Um, you just have to make sure you have enough twist that they don't break. Earlier I was telling you I want enough twist so that it doesn't fall apart. Um, but uh, I wanted it to have a little bit of structure. So if you really wanted to go with like a very low twist single, you can do that where it has... Uh, basically looks balanced like a yarn when we're finished um, usually So now all I'm doing is I'm just trying to make sure I don't lose where my ties are Always make sure you have it tied off in four places at least four places Because frequently you can lose one so all I'm doing now is I'm just squeezing the water out here And we're gonna do this several times and then I'm going to plunge it into the ice water and I'm gonna keep doing the same thing. I'm just gonna really get in here and, oops, maybe not that vigorously. <laughs> I'm splashing it all over the place. Uh, but get in here and uh, scrub this friction, friction, friction. Look at these colors though. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And you can already see that this is already uh, starting to um, relax a little bit, but we're not felted yet. We're not even close. So we're just gonna keep going back and forth here like this. And you can do this in a machine. So you can do this in the, in the machine. However, I do not do it that way because you want to have, I want to have control over the process. And if you put it in the machine, you might lose control and end up with like a piece of fabric. <laughs> Instead of fold singles, you're going to get, you know, it all stuck together. Um, oh, which leads me to the other thing. When you do the tie off, Ideally, a yarn that doesn't felt will help you the most, although my yarn felt. I used some of my old hand spun, so it'll definitely felt. And you can do this as much or as little as you want. If you just want to lightly fold, you might stop here. Um, I'm going to show you here. If we can take a, a check in here every so often so you can see. I think I'll probably do this like three, maybe four times. We'll see. Uh, right now, I'm still trying to make sure I can see my tie so I don't get anything uh, tangled up too much because uh, at some point things are gonna stop sliding. <laughs> so I'm gonna make, that's why I keep kind of stretching it out here a little bit because uh, the, my tie felt, so if you can see my tie is gonna, I hope I'm on frame here, my tie is going to felt in with everything else. I'm kind of using that as a, a landmark too. I can see when it starts to felt. But here we are, just gonna squeeze this out. I'm gonna do a little look-see here. And you can see that things are starting to felt nicely. Look at that. Let's plunge it. Cold water. Yeah, this is really starting to felt nicely. I think I'm just going to do one more dip. I might actually call it here. This is looking pretty good. Um, again, it depends on how much felting you want. Uh, let's see what we get here. I might go one more. Let's go one more. Let's live dangerously. <laughs> Squeeze all this out. All right, here we go. Boom. Hot water. And then after this, we're going to thwack it just to make sure we get it extra good and fuzzy. <laughs> and then we're going to let it dry and we'll check back and show you what we got. The nice thing is this isn't bleeding at all. Okay, there. Now you can really see it's felted. Do you see this? This is, this is starting to full. I don't want it. It's starting to, see how it's starting to stick to its neighbor here? You see that? It's sticking to its neighbor. Let me make sure I'm on frame. Do you see how it's starting to stick to the other one? That's, that's plenty felted. I don't want any more than that. So we're stopping. Calling it done here. I'm going to dunk it in the cold and stop it. Does any more than that and I might make fabric and we don't want to do that so this is why I like doing this by hand because you have a lot of control over the, the final product and uh, you can make sure that you don't overdo it or if you want to overdo it you can overdo it 
I'm going to do a couple snaps here. Look at that. It's already looking so much better than it did. Remember all those crazy curls a minute ago? I haven't even thwacked it. And well, I think we're going to have to move further back so you can see. I haven't even thwacked it. And look, all the uh, extra coil is out. Okay, here we have our finished single. And if you remember yesterday, our um, single when we took it off the Nitty Knotty was very coiled. This one is uh, not very coiled at all. In fact, very little, maybe two little curls right there. But mostly we, we made our one uh, twist per inch and this is a very balanced yarn. So we're gonna throw it in and uh, felt it. And uh, this time we're gonna do it a lot lighter than before. <laughs> Let's go full this and uh, see the magic. I have our setup here, the same as it was yesterday. Hot water, cold water. I threw a little bit of ice in here, it's already melted, but it's plenty cold. I'm gonna get my uh, dishwashing gloves and we'll be in business. Okay, we are ready. So we're gonna start with the hot water. I'm just going to uh, put this in. And I'm not gonna agitate this one. The other one, I think we did it four times uh, earlier. Uh, and uh, this time we are going to just set this in here. Again, I don't have to be super careful about it. I'm gonna get it nice and wet in this hot water. This felt so pretty easily. I'm gonna show you the difference between the number of passes that I made with the first yarn and this one. This one, I'm just going to, what do we call it, lightly full. Forgot to put my soap in. We got it in there now. It looks pretty good. Even without the soap, I don't think I'm going to do much else with it. Eh, we'll do one more. One more. But we'll just be a little more gentle with it. <laughs> we don't want this one sticking to its neighbor. I'll show you the other one. Remember uh, with the other one how it was sticking to the neighbor a little bit? This is going to... Uh, not do that in the perfect world. <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna be the last of that one. And then I'm gonna add this uh, second one that I did. Put this in here. This is the whole four ounces then. And then what I'm gonna do with this one is, uh, I'm going to, since we're lightly fulling, I am not gonna give it the full on flat. I might flack this other one just so we can see the difference and see if it even makes much of a difference. But I'm just gonna do this the way I traditionally would. Now squeeze the water out. I'm just gonna go put it in a towel and then I will um, hang it to dry. Maybe snap it a couple times. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. into the cold water it goes. This one I'm just gonna do once, and we'll do this one once and thwack it and see, and we'll keep track of the difference here. All right, this one's already uh, done. I just dried it in the towel. All I'm gonna do is do it a couple of snaps here. And I think we will have it. Look at that. Looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go hang that one up. We'll keep track of where it is. Remember this one we only did in the hot water once. So I'm gonna put it in the, oh, why are you getting? I'm gonna put it into the towel to dry. And then 
I'm going to uh, give it a snap or two and then whack it. And then we'll go from there and see what they look like when they're dry. Here we have the, on the right is the not thwacked. Uh, it's not dry yet, I just hung them up just to make in the video so I don't forget where they are. <laughs> and on the left one is the one that was only in once and we thwacked it and um, did a little snap as well. Uh, so far, they both look pretty equal. We'll see when they dry. Here it is, our final yarn. It looks balls. So I'm gonna show you the difference in these. So this is the lightly fold. This is the one that we uh, did not thwack. This is the one we thwacked. Uh, and they look basically exactly the same. If I hadn't kept track of them, I think the one that I didn't thwack is just a tiny, teeny bit smoother. Although that could be my imagination. So they are very, very similar. And oh, so stinking fluffy. So now these are the ones that, the first one that we did, these are the two, the first two that we did. And these are the ones that, I, and I did want to show you this because this is going to be an important, so when you're doing yours, you don't do this if you, unless you want to do this. Um, but remember how I said, oh, it's sticking to the neighbors. So this one is a little bit more felted than I would like, because here, look at this. I have to like peel them apart. <laughs> and I've peeled a lot of them apart already. I left some of them so I could show them to you. Like, look at this. This is just like a big clump of felted stuff here. So I was, remember that last one when I said, let's live dangerously, that last one was the kicker. Um, but there you go. However, even though these were more heavily felted, it's still, it's we're still very, very soft. And I mean, very soft. And I love the way it preserved the colors. And I think that this is gonna be awesome woven and I'm gonna weave this, I'm gonna knit with this beautiful one here. So, but this is, same thing, you saw the fold singles. Um, this one I did spin a little thinner. And what I didn't mention to you was I put my jumbo flyer on my wheel for the um, these because I, I was having a hard time getting that twist per inch with this one. And I was, just wasn't doing it thick enough. So I very quickly decided uh, I didn't feel like switching to my jumbo flyer. So we were just gonna go for this and I, I just over folded a little bit. It would have been like this, but thinner, but I just, uh, that's what happens if you do too much, but still very usable and I love it. It looks really cool. I, I like the little textures to it. And, and even though it was really um, spun more like a regular single with the uh, energy, uh, I, you can see it's not like coiling back on itself anywhere or any of those things. So ultimately I'm calling this one a win, especially this one though I really love. This is what I had in mind. This is what I wanted to make. Um, and uh, I just had to switch to the right wheel. <laughs> switch to the right wheel and be less aggressive with my fulling. But uh, look at that, it's so pretty. And I have three more of these. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do them all to match and then do something squishy, wonderful, and spectacular. So here you have it, fold singles, high energy, low twist, low energy, uh, lightly fold, basically felted. <laughs> Uh, but uh, they're both wonderful in their own right. Uh, and then I have a little uh, preview for you for uh, tomorrow. We are going to be spinning uh, from the fold and we're gonna be using this lovely uh, Merino blend, which looks so amazing. In fact, I wonder if I can turn this around. I have, I started this last night and it's so cool looking. It looks way better than I anticipated. I mean, I thought it was gonna look cool, but it looks even better than I imagined. And I think I'll chain fly this. So this is what we are gonna be doing tomorrow. Isn't that awesome? I love it. It's so cool looking. Almost looks like um, you know, the patina uh, you get with um, copper. I will see you tomorrow for the uh, third stage of the tour. Until then, spin happy.